Hi, I am Dr. Arshad Hakim, Senior Consultant, Head and Neck Oncology, Apollo Cancer Institute, Hyderabad. Today we will talk about the pre-malignant and malignant lesions of oral cavity. Normally you will see in a healthy individual, our uh, oral mucosa is uh, moist, it's pink in color and healthy. But what happens if a person abuses uh, or takes a lot of tobacco or betel nut or sometimes is an alcohol addict, what happens this mucosa, normal pink colored mucosa will be replaced by a rough white fibrous mucosa, what we call as submucous, oral submucous fibrosis. This condition is peculiar in our Indian subcontinent because of the rampant chewing of the betel nut and tobacco. And this is a pre-malignant cancer, that is a cancer can develop in it, it is just a matter of time when it has to develop. Other signs which a person should be aware of that a cancer, oral cancer is developing in his mouth is that they may have, they may develop a small white patch what we call leukoplakia or they may develop a small red patch, uh, velvety red patch what we call erythroplakia or there can be combination of these two the white patches and uh, red patches what we call erythroleukoplakia. These, these conditions are again pre-malignant and they may result in cancer formation in oral cavity or a person may develop a break in the mucosa, an ulcer which is not healing with conservative management either antibiotics or local anti-inflammatory drugs or a person has a jack tooth or an ill-fitting denture that may constantly hit against the buccal mucosa or the tongue buccal mucosa means the cheek and give rise in a, in a matter of time in a matter of weeks or months uh, it may give rise to a cancer in that any ulcer that is not healing uh, within uh, two to three weeks despite taking out these dentures or a removal of these teeth should be examined by a dentist or a cancer specialist Sometimes a person may simply present with a pain in the teeth or loosening of the teeth. Otherwise, there may, may not be a gross uh, disease uh, visible. But if you carefully see around that socket, that teeth area where the teeth has become loose or has fallen down, you may definitely recognize a growth. At that time, the patient should be aware that he has to go to a dentist or a head and neck surgeon to get a biopsy done. If a person is, uh, has a history of uh, tobacco chewing and uh, he is developing any of these signs, he should get examined by a specialist so that the, the cancer can be diagnosed at the earliest. How, how we diagnose oral cancer is just simply taking a small piece of tissue, a few mm of tissue and send it for the biopsy. Within 24-48 hours, you will get a result that whether there is a cancer in that or not. There are other ways of uh, diagnosing it is scrape cytology. But scrape cytology is not definitive test as biopsy, uh, biopsy has a much higher weight than a scrape cytology. 